What is going on guys, FMU here, welcome back to episode 3 of the Premier Manager 2 save. I've had to put my glasses back on because um, my lenses are still going through the period, my eyes are adjusting to them still and they are basically getting my eyes really sticky. And you probably noticed it in the first two episodes I was doing that a lot with my eyes and it's because I was trying to loosen them a bit, so I apologise for that, I've started doing it now with my glasses on. Um, a few things have changed uh, since we were last with you. I basically went ahead and cleared out the transfer market. Basically, uh, if you click on a player, click buy, and then exit, it the, their bids are made, the players are brought, they go. Sorry, I had to cough then. Um, and I did that to clear it out so that I would know if any new fresh people came in. And la, 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 So there's nobody on the transfer market at the moment. Welcome to Injury Simulator, I've decided to call today. Um, we've picked up a lot of injuries. Um, Brastock was out injured for a little while. He's now back. Friel, uh, he's a new sign-in. He came in from Witten Albion. I, th I think it was Witten Albion, pretty sure it was, I think then. So that's trouble now having player histories and stuff. You have to really, really look into it uh, and try and remember stuff. Uh, Giorgio's out injured. He's out only for another week. Uh, Friel is out for 10 weeks. And Lim is out for another eight weeks. He was originally out for about 20 odd. Uh, with, or was it, no, it wasn't him, sorry. It was, I'll tell you who it was. I'll tell you which swine it was. Where have they gone? Where are Northwich Fix? It was. Why isn't he on there? Oh no, Donald went to Northwich Fix. Where did he go to? I think it was Ormshaw, his name was. Um, he's another player who's left. This is the trouble, you see. This is one of the issues with it. It's difficult to keep a, a track of everybody when they move on uh, from your club. It is really freaking difficult. So I might have to start writing them down when they leave and stuff. I thought I'd be able to remember who they were, but clearly I thunked wrong. Uh, yeah, you can see the league table. Uh, is doing okay at the moment. We're sixth in the league on 19 points. The league leaders are Runcorn with 22. Uh, underperforming are Halifax, which has surprised me. They're not top. I thought they'd be walking it, but they're not. Uh, Bromsgrove, God love them, played 11, lost 11. I uh, Bromsgrove, sorry, stayed up with Celtic, played 11, lost 11. That's, that's not good at all. Not good at all. Uh, in terms of our performances, though, here we go. So obviously you saw the open two games, the one all draw against Stafford and the 2-1 uh, victory over Stadium Bridge. We then really disappointingly drew one apiece with Telford before we beat um, Welling by three goals to one. We drew one apiece with Witten Albion who were at the Portland flying at the top of the table. Uh, we lost against Woking at home. We then w This is one thing you have to get used to as well. When you're at home, your score is on the left. When you're away, your score is on the right. So, obviously, this one we lost 1-0. 2-1, uh, sorry. Uh, we'd be altering them 3-0 away from home. Uh, we drew 0-0 with Bath. We then beat Bromsgrove 3-1 away from home. We beat Dagenham 1-0 at home and lost 3-1 to Dover last time out. And today we've got Berry in the FA Cup first round. So that's pretty decent. In terms of money-wise, we've had to spend a bit of money uh, to bring a couple of players in on freeze. They weren't on contracts. Uh, they're not great players, but I didn't have any choice. Uh, I had to bring in Friel, like I say. He's not brilliant. And also there was, uh, who else was there who came in? He was a youngster, he's a kid. Pender, he's also come in. Uh, but we've had to sort of spend on new staff coming in as well. I've changed the staff now. If you have a look at the job centre, you'll see uh, I've replaced the goalkeeping coach. I've replaced the tackling coach, the passing coach, the physio, the scout and the youth team uh, coach. Just up in their wages. Uh, slightly by bringing in the new people but it needed to be done uh, the scout has started to find with players which is good you can see these guys here are zero in terms of contract years so we could pick those up on freeze however you do have to pay a player fee and with a 4464 player fee they're probably gonna be looking at around about between seven and eight thousand pounds so it racks up almost as much as transfer fees at this level also we got hit with two fines 
for uh, having a unsafe ground so i have actually upgraded to two star safety that cost me fifty thousand pounds which was a sting in the tail but that's okay and you can't see it now but i was fined again for another safety breach so it's still not good enough uh, but there's not much we can do about it there's no boards available there there's two available here that'll do me there we go it's a little bit of dollar in there and the old uh, coffers there and in terms of the season so far we're minus 138,677 pounds so we might have to be looking at getting a loan at some point i think uh, i don't know why i circled there we may have to look at getting a loan at some point um, we will hopefully be long gone by the time the loan really needs to start being repaid back uh, well i don't know actually that's one thing i was going to talk to you about i've slowed this down i hope so we'll flip through the scores. I'm not going to read them out, but you can look at the scores while I'm I'm chatting away. Oh, Robin van der Laan. Robin van der Laan. I loved Robin van der Laan. Even though he played for the enemy, he played for the Vale, I loved Robin van der Laan. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you want me to move around clubs? Because I'm pro manager, you can only manage in England. So do you want me to try and get Kettering all the way to the Premier League? Or do you want me to move around a bit, you know, go from go to a couple of different clubs maybe? Um kind of almost do a grassroots to greatness in a way i suppose maybe go from the bottom to the top uh oh that crew team was so wonderful some of the great players that have ever played for crew in this team there are steve walters and uh andy woodward two players in the press at the moment for very bad reasons um some great players met you god i forgot even is it francis tierney gray and abel gareth wally darren robottom rob edwards Oh, Neil Lennon there as well. Neil Lennon, wow. Um, yeah, so let me know down below. I, I think I would like to move around because whenever I played Pro Manager before, um, I always used to move around and I really enjoyed it. I did do a save with Norfolk Victoria and Pro Manager 3. I've played, I think it's now I'm up to 300, uh, 300, 106 seasons or something stupid like that. And I'm still the manager in Norwich, Victoria. And we are the best team in the world on it. That's on my Amiga, so that's lost forever. Unless I can find a way to... Re oh, I could actually record on my... Oh, oh. <laughs> I may have to think about that. I need to get my Amiga from my mum's at some point. She's got it. Oh, well done to Halifax knocking out Carlisle. Anyway, that's enough of those. Let's get into this match and get beaten, probably handsomely, by Berry. Um, I've slowed it down to faster for you for this. Uh, just so we can have a little look and maybe react a little bit better to things happening. I like how simple it is. Passes ball, receives ball, passes ball, receives ball. Tackle one, tackle lost. All that gubbins. So simple. But it's so great because I can move forwards. I can get through. See, you know, I've I've burned through the games. We've had the first shot and it's gone wide. I'm hoping we can really kick on and push him. We're nine minutes in. We're doing better than what I thought we would. Adicola, my life. Moses, I think his name is, I think his name was Moses Adicola. I remember him because he was around, he came in around the same time as Dealey Adibola at Crew. They've had a shot now. So one apiece in terms of shots. Oh man, this match is, uh, it's very back and forth. We've had a shot. Oh, Hodges there trying to get on the score sheet. They've got a player called Stanislas as well Reed. oh put it over the top goal scorer for the club i believe has put it over here we go brown goal absolute scenes absolute scenes as kettering take the lead will we be able to hold it off though i doubt it the players that have had to replace the guys that have gone uh ormshaw his name was he's gone and he was i think a good one star he was 28 rated 29 rated maybe even been more i didn't realize i thought i would got all the players i went through and sort of checked for all the players with zeros in the years left on the contracts and i didn't realize there was one player over the page and that was him and he's now gone i am absolutely gutted because he was a key player he was he's the guy who was out for 32 weeks it was in total i believe uh, either 28 or 32 there's a bit of a difference i know but for some reason 32 seems right to me um and he has he been sent off or is he injured have we had a player sent off no he's injured Whew. 
uh, Reed's going to have to go into midfield. I thought we had a player sent off then, but Hodges, oh, it's another bloody injury. We don't have the squad depth for injuries like we've got at the moment. I may have to reassess my training tactics. Maybe they're a little bit, maybe they, should, they all need to be on low, maybe, because the coach isn't brilliant. Oh. Come on, get us to half time. Get us to half time. Come on. They're starting to really push on us now, aren't they? Really push on us. I may swap. This is going to be a dangerous tactic, but at half time, I think I'm going to move to 4 3 3 because the, the players are better suited to the positioning of 4 3 3. Uh, and let's do it. 4 3. It's done. It's done. You swap with you. So number six is in the middle. Uh, number seven is right. Number eight is left. That's worked out beautifully. Beautifully done. Okay. We're doing it. We're going out of a 4 3 3 in the second half. This could really backfire. I'm just thinking it seems to suit. Since we've put the striker in midfield, it's been a case of, even though he's more than capable of playing there, it's really kind of pushed them onto us quite a bit. So it should hopefully hopefully work out. We, we seem to be. I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to jinx it, but we, we're, we're holding them off at the moment. It's a lot in the middle of the park. It's in the middle of that bar at the moment. So that's good. That That is good news. We're coming up to the hour mark now. We are really putting a shift in trying to hold them off here. I'm, no matter what happens, I'm impressed with this shift that the lads are putting in here. We are, look at that, really fighting to hold them off. They've got AD Mike playing for them as well. More pals broke through. He scored. Damn it. Damn it. Right. Um, can't really make any of the subs. I'm just going to have to roll with it. I'm just going to have to roll with it. And hope for the best. They were very patient. They, they, they were very persistent. We held them off brilliantly, I thought, up until that uh, that point where Powell broke through you can tell when they break through because the bar will suddenly just quickly go like that we've managed to hold them off there but you'll see the bar the ball pushing towards the Kettering side of it quite quickly whereas now it's kind of back and forth back and forth and then with Powell it kind of just went and I was like yeah he's broken through here oh he's tack oh, taking a shot well saved well I'm assuming it's well saved anyway Okay, uh, let's. You have to remember as well when you make a tactical change, this will stay like this for the next game. So I have to remember to go and change it back. Um, we're gonna go high, and we're gonna go long ball, and we're gonna go long range shooting. Uh, we'll stick on nearest man. That may be a big mistake. It may backfire, but I'm just trying to get it so we, if we get the ball, we pump it away, sort of thing. Try and get rid of it. Now they're in. Are they? No, we've cut them out. Oh, this is a, this is like a game of chess. This is crazy. Go on. Oh, I thought we were going to really push forwards then. Oh, they're coming. No. Yes. No. Oh. 86 minutes on the clock now. We were sucker punched uh, a couple of weeks, a couple of games ago by a 90th minute winner for the opposition. Um, that could be the case again today. Oh, we're on it. Oh, just wide from Brown. And that's it. 90 minutes done. Now, there are no replays uh, on this. So we are forced to endeavour into extra time. So, oh, it's oh, it's the te the tension, the tension of it all. Takes a shot. Oh, it's over the top from Reed. Go on, oh, we we've now started to pressure them a bit at the beginning of the first half of extra time. Come on, boys, you can do it. 
Come on, hold them off. Hold them off. That's it. Nice. Come on. This is so like battle of midfields, isn't it? Really is. We've put to get passes attempted 195 to their 97. That is crazy. We've won 129 tackles to their 35 as well. No matter what happens, we've played really, really well. That's the end of that half. Um, I can, oh, by the way, remember the other episode I said you could swap these around? You can't. So whoever you stick in there, if your keeper gets injured, that's who's coming on. They like it or not. So, um, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a worry. If the keeper gets injured now and I don't have backup because Lynn, the backup goalkeeper, is injured at the moment. So I've asked my youth uh, scout or my youth team manager to find me a youth goalkeeper who won't be very good. He'll be around about between 13 and 20 rated, I would imagine. Excuse me. Uh, I would imagine. <clears throat> Come on, push him now. Push him. Go on. Oh, push him. Go on, go on. Go on. Oh. Come on, go. Oh, I was just about to fling out of the seat then in a, in an exuberant celebration. I've got a feeling they're going to nick it. I really do have this feeling now. They're pressing us back, pushing on us a lot. Can we hold out? Goal. No. Oh, oh, well. Penalties. Oh, this is different. Um, yeah, those guys, I think. Oh, actually, you can go in there because you're a better penalty taker. Those are the guys who are going to take the penalties. Saved. Saved. Goal for us. Saved. Oh, saved. This is a terrible. Goal. 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 Donovan scores. Saved it! <laughs> We're through to the second round of the FA Cup. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you very much. Uh, that is brilliant. Let's just have a quick little look, see if we can see anybody else from Ali who's possibly gone through. Um, none there. No, no. No, no. No, no. The mighty boys. Cheltenham got a hang a hanger in, a hammer in from Cardiff. Um Cheltenham are a non-league team on this, they're below our league. Uh, Darlington knocked them out. Norfolk Victoria are through. They beat Scarborough. That's good. Telford put a good showing in against Scunthorpe. Stafford Rangers beat Torquay. Bath are through to the next round. Uh, Gateshead are through. Welling are through. Fisher were beaten by Witten. Uh, Yeovil are also through. Interesting. That ain't a bad. That ain't a bad little little shift that we've put in there. Uh, and you see, I have to now go in and move these players uh, back to where they were. Who was? Oh no, I don't. Oh, that's cool. Oh no, it's moved them back. But look, you'll notice now we're playing four three three. So I would have to go back and play that and um, change these back to what they were uh, or what I want to move them to for instance uh, Hodges is now injured for 18 freaking weeks with an hamstring injury you've got to be joking me um, well Donovan's going to have to come into the midfield we're going to have to do something I mean look at that we've got those players fit um, Lim's back in 7 weeks but he's a goalkeeper oh, that's not too bad Georgie is back in a week um, freely 9 and then Hodge is in 18. So we'll pop uh, you there and then you there. That is that all right? Yeah, a bit of, a bit of some, you know, a bit of a, a, a I can't think of it, a, a proper order to it. That'll do. Um, so we've got Rochdale away in the next round of the cup. So that could be an interesting game indeed. Hopefully we could do something in that. But guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. Whew, what a um, what a roller coaster of emotions that was! What a tight game against a team who are far superior to ourselves. So, um, 
please hit the like button down below if you're enjoying this series so far it's been really fun playing it to be fair i am really enjoying it and um i will see you guys next time back in 1993 i still can't get used to it it's so bizarre bizarre